Hey everybody, got another video here for you. Alright, so here's the second one. As you can see, I'm getting a little better with the glue, only a little bit on the wide side there. Can I, I'm right-handed, can I do this left-handed? Oh, nice. No, don't slide it around when you're pressing it down. Okay. Son las dos. So, this is the guitar that we heard in the background. I guess it needs a better pickup, huh? Uh, yeah, quad rail upgrade is too for that thing, I guess. What is that? It was a carbon fiber neck, triple tube, and I guess that's Guitar 7. There's a build series on it. It looks cool, but I'm not happy with it. Because... The depth pick order is too small, and just, just that alone, God, it's terrible, I'm such a perfectionist. Yeah, that alone just ruins the build for me. i got to redo that, I guess, and a new pickup. Another build series, huh? Yeah, the reason why we had that video in the first place is uh, uh, somebody was asking about uh, tone tests, and I responded and left uh, links to the tone test or what passed for a tone test on the last four builds. And I was just checking them out to see, you know, how worthy they were. And uh, they're not very worthy, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm rusty. My fingers, my finger is getting up to the point where it no longer hurts in just day-to-day -day activity. But I still haven't tried to, like, really play. You know, I tried once, like, when the scab first came off, and I tried, like, I think the last time I tried was, like, a week and a half ago kind of thing. And so for the last week or so, I've just been, I've just been using it. And I figured I'd get it back to being able to use it. It feels funny, you know. It's got nerve damage at the end for sure, and and yeah, there's something sharp there that I can just feel as a bump there. But if I do it with the pinky, it's actually painful. So it's still sensitive. But um, I don't know what that is. It's a little burr of metal or something, a piece of guitar string or something. But anyway, um. Yeah, so that's the reason why we had the had the music in the first place is that uh is that I was checking out these uh sound demos. I have no idea why I was telling you that now, so pardon me, I tend to ramble. <laughs> All right, let me get back to the build here. Maybe you'll find some more music. Music we can legally include in the video, that is. Um, if you haven't checked it out, check out my playlist of guitar building music. It's um, music to build guitars by, and it's mostly guitar music. There's some other stuff too, but it's mostly music that features guitars, so you might find it interesting. I was thinking of doing a playlist of... Uh, Guitar influences, specific guitar, specific songs with solos or whatever, rhythm guitar work or whatever that were, that are, that I consider influential, or at least an influence on, on my tastes in guitar. But getting back to sound demos, should I be doing more sound demos? I mean, you know, I can I can practice up. I'm willing to take the 30 minutes that it takes for me to warm up and and start be able to do hot licks again, and then I can flip the camera on and make some noise for you guys. So let me know in the comments. 
I was watching a Black Sabbath video the other day and, and seeing Tony Iommi playing lead solo, and I was like, man, if he can do it without a pinky, I can too. So, yeah. I think I have to step up my game on the, on the sound demos. And no, I don't think the, per the pinky is permanently offline. I mean, if I were to pick it up right now, I could probably suffer my way through playing major bar chords using like this side of it. It's not bad. I can press hard on there. But as I get towards the center, it's actually, it's getting better. So but anyway, let me get back to this thing. See if I can find us some more music. Set our tune again. What is the squeeze out of always on this side? A little workout on the lower four strings in mostly fourths and fifths. And it's a good way to quickly sound, quickly get a feel for what the voice of the instrument is like. Yeah, I got screws out all over the place here. Pretty much on target, but yeah, a lot of squeeze out. That's not so good. Hmm. I need like a Q tip with the tip made of paper towel instead of cotton. That'd be the perfect cleanup tool for this kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah, it's working, so, um... I think that's the end of that sound demo. Es cuatro. Si. Cinco, cinco, seis. squeeze out again.
was showing. Music is the Robo Tuner through a 3 watt 9 volt portable amp. Okay, time to clue these guys on. Some of them are going to line up with the old screw holes, and some are not. Just have to be patient. Come on. Here it comes.
That one's already setting up. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. So, until the next one, everybody, have a good one.